Hello, this is Jolly Gaming Panda, and today we will be playing more of School of Dragons. This game is shutting down this month, so we will be making videos showing our collection of dragons along with all the kinds of content and activities you could do in this game, such as Cannibal Frenzy and all that. A real shame this is shutting down. It's been maybe 10 years, if not a little longer. So I've already shown all of my other Vikings. Dragons. She had quite a lot, especially a lot of babies because I never had the heart to have them grow up. And this character, Frode, I've hardly at all played as him. He had this sandy wraith that's more of a blue collar. It's really pretty. And I don't think he had to- whoa, this one's fast. Really cool. So yeah, I love riding around on these dragons. I'm gonna miss this because I don't even know if there's any other online games out there with this kind of high quality graphics with this game. I mean, you get to fly on your dragons, the ones that you raise. You get to just fly around, have a lot of freedom in this. It's really cool. So I don't know if Frode has any other dragons. I might have gave him a few. I can't remember. Let's check. All the dragons. We got these for memberships. We don't have a membership, of course. The game's discontinued. It's shutting down this month. We got this teen monstrous nightmare. Oh, I remember this. The one that can't fly. This one could only glide. I never got them raised enough to get them to actually age up and fly. So let's switch out to our other dragon. Falkor was my favorite. And in this game it was pretty cool. We have our own farm. You could visit your farm at the... where was it? I actually don't remember where our farm is. It's been forever I've played. I believe it was... No, it's not training grounds. Maybe the lookout? It was somewhere here on this island. There's a farm. Alright, it's right over here. So this is the lookout. And at the lookout, you got a farm. In this game, you could pretty much get how many farms you want. There's really no limit as far as I know. But with the game shutting down, you're not able to make it buy any more gems. So what you've got left is what you've got left. So nice cute little farm going here. Never really got to add too much to it, but looks like a nice little farm. Had a few decorations out here, but I really did not play as Frode too much. Honestly, I played more of Catherine than anything during my time of playing these games. So didn't do too much to his little farm. We could check out Catherine's farm. I'm sure I've done a lot more with hers. So let's take a look, shall we? So it looks like the farm is called Majestic. Quite the farm name. Has a four star rating. Wow, it's crowded. I don't know if the upper farm looked better, but gee, it's crowded. It's like I crammed everything I could into this farm. We got a Christmas tree. We got sheep. Tons of flags, probably from the ship raids, which would always occur every hour and there was a chance to get gems and other such items. Pretty sure I got all of this from those ship raids. I had fun participating. We got cute little turtles here. They're so cute. 
Really cute. We go the den for Arctic foxes. Looks like we have one that's in there. Little sheep with a bow. I think these are all Christmas themed sheep for the holidays. All kinds of stuff. Pretty crowded though. I wouldn't say my farm is the best. I've seen better farms that look a lot more organized, neat, and cool, but this is my crowded, majestic farm. So yeah, that's how my farm turned out. And we got one more Viking to check out, Torsten the Brave. I got these items for gems for watching ads. Got a cool helmet, wings, just cool outfit in general. I doubt I did anything to his farm, but we could always take a look. If the loading doesn't take too terribly long. Alright, so a little bit's been done to this harvest farm. So there's a little orange chicken. Wow, that looks cool. Must have been from an event. It's a special one. Oh yeah, must have been around Halloween or something. Looks pretty cool. So what else? We got sheep. Um, plants that probably died. Yeah, I think these plants just died. Wait, we're getting something out of it? I don't know. Pretty sure those plants just died. And I have this really, really cool axe. I just got them for a weapon. I only just got it real recently. It's crazy thinking this game is shutting down. I've worked so hard for all these items. I'm sure other players are upset too, spending as much time as they have to get their dragons, get their farms and everything looking how they wanted. So let's see what dragons we have for this one. We got Brenton, a deadly natter. Could they fly? Oh wow, this one could fly! This is awesome. This one could actually fly. Most of my dragons can't fly. So this is pretty cool. I love the maroon red I gave them. Sometimes I just let dragons stay their natural color, but sometimes some players, their dragons just look really cool with the color variations that people have customed for their dragons. So I gave this a try. Pretty cool. So let's look at any more dragons. Oh, we got Flightmare. It's an adult too. Now Flightmare is really awesome. I like this one. It's intimidating, tough, and pretty cool. Looks pretty when it flies. All these dragons just look amazing as they fly around. The flying thing in this game has to be my favorite part of the game just flying around freely with just really amazing dragons. No dragon really looks the same so it's always a unique and different feeling when you switch around your dragons to fly on. So any more dragons? This one I've been trying so hard to age up so I could see their teen form but no matter what they just they are not aging up. I think they just need one more level, I hope. Don't know if I'll get to age them up before the game shuts down, though. There's a Grapeful Grounder. Looks really cool. I actually had this one for my Catherine. Dragon Tamer. Oh, this one actually flies, though, unlike the other one. That's awesome. Wow, such a long tail. This is really cool. Graphics are just amazing. Just being able to fly dragons freely. So there's this other game that Jumpstar does. I think the only reason it's still up and going is because 
The How to Train Your Dragon series is trademarked, so it was probably only a matter of time for some things to expire, you know, but... I don't know, I think this game's probably better. The dragons all just look cool, intimidating. The other one looks more like a cutesy version of School of Dragons. I'll probably still give it a try at some point. Just for fun. Just to see, because this game called Mythies and Dragons, I don't even remember the name, but Jumpstart made this other game and it's been around for a long time. I don't think many people play it. I tried looking up YouTube videos to see what it's about and I only see maybe one or two videos showing a close look at it. So, I don't know. I might try it eventually. It's probably the closest thing to School of Dragons people will get to experience once this is gone. I don't know if School of Dragons will get a rewritten like Tin Town, Club Penguin, and Pirates Online did. I really don't know. Okay, let's go to training grounds. I've shown everyone my dragons. I would love to show some of the fun activities you could do in this game too. But I would like to switch to one of my favorite dragons. I really want to spend some time with Longneck Tim. I'm gonna miss this one a whole lot. Just look at how cute they are with their little arms. <laughs> Like, this one I'm gonna really miss. They're also just kind of funny. <laughs> Look at how long they are. Okay, so there's this fireball frenzy game. Your dragon's energy is too low right. to do that. Your energy's too low to do that. But why? Just eat a chicken egg. It's all you need to do. Okay, now we should be able to go. So, I guess in order to do these games, you need to feed your dragons. And if you take care of chickens, you could get a ton of eggs. That'll help you out, get you to keep playing. So there's solo training. Really cool. So pretty much in this, you get to ride any dragon that you are equipped with. Even your favorite dragons and your fireball frenzy, you just try and score points hitting all these sheep targets. But be careful, if you hit a actual character like Hiccup or Astrid, if one pops up, you'll lose points. So it's a really fun little minigame. You get more points for these intimidating Vikings. Guess they're bad guys. Oh, I even more points for the dragon one, which is a lot smaller. Can you see this asteroid? Do not on, get her, or you'll just lose points. I forget how much fun this frenzy fireball is. So many fun little games on here. It's gonna be sad when this game wins. But I'm just gonna enjoy it. Make videos, make memories of this game. Until it shuts down. Good shot! All kinds of activities in this. I probably should have played this a lot more, but I never really thought it would be. It's been around for maybe 10 years or more, and because of that I kind of figured it would always stick around. I feel like it was just not that long ago there was an anniversary to this game being That's celebrated. Literally after the anniversary? Oh, we're shutting this down. So yeah, that's how it feels. But I'm sure it's because they couldn't renew it because they weren't earning enough. Because you have to spend a lot of money to renew games. Especially to keep online servers going. So it kind of makes sense. I've noticed a lot of online games have been getting shut down lately. I think there's people not spending the money on a lot of online games like used to. Because Terra got shut down. I never played that online game before. You're a natural. 
Pops. I won't have to teach you much. Zotero, I never really played, but I heard of it. Oh, looks like a raid. But that game got shut down. Along with some other titles. Looks like we were able to catch this. Really cool. So this is what the ship raid battles look like. It's really fun. Basically you team up with all the other vikings and dragons and you try to take down the scout ships. Basically on the board is just vikings who want to attack harm Burke, probably take your dragons. And of course that's not okay. You want to protect your dragons, don't you? Your home? So you pretty much just team up with everyone until the health gauge, the health gauge goes down. <laughs> so yeah, you just keep attacking. You keep it up and eventually you get really awesome rewards. On the mobile version, you could be offered gems as rewards. I don't know if that's the same for computer. I'm playing this on computer right now. Let's see what we get. Uh, is this it? Oh, looks like we get gems on the PC version as well. So yeah, you could get gems. Oh, wow, how awesome. But I think today might be the last day we could spend um, gems on stuff at the time I'm recording this. Tons of items. Garden Viking. All kinds of stuff. Ugh, eels. Our dragons do not like eels. And fish. That was really cool. Nice rewards. Ugh, can't land. Okay. So that was a lot of the gardening and the cannonball frenzy. That's what that was about. And what you just watched was the raids, the ship raids. Has awesome rewards. Happens every start of every hour. I'll be continuing more videos showing more content that's in School of Dragons. I would start this game if you're interested in giving it a try before it shuts down. It shuts down later this month, so if you're interested, play it when you can. This game is available on the Google Play Store for mobile, and it's also available on PC. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.